Hello everybody, GamerPenny here, bringing you another episode of our Secret World Legends Let's Play. And we're going to be continuing on with Ellie, but first things first, you guys are probably screaming at me in the comments. We hit 50 on our SP. <laughs> so I don't know how long it's been like that, I'll have to go back and look at the footage, but we're going to go ahead and uh, use some of these. So I wish like a thing would pop up saying you're capped out, but it probably did and I probably ignored it. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Um, let's try to finish out shotguns before we finish out pistols. So where were we headed? We could get this. Shotgun elite ability. Channeled every 5 seconds for 2.5 cone effects for 6 enemies. So this isn't a knockdown, but lay waste to all those who stand before you with repeated blasts. It's more damage and that might be... I really like kneecapper though. But that does massive damage. Well, let's just unlock it and then we'll start going up here. Consumes two shotgun energy, good nearby enemies. Oh, go nearby enemies to attack you. So that's a, that's a taunt, I don't want that. Salvage some of your power from your shotgun shells to gain three to eight shotgun energy. The amount gained is based on how many shells were salvaged. This really does not trigger and is not affected by global recharge. I mean, I guess. Oh, we don't, we don't have that many left. All right, let's do some SP here. Did we get this? So this is all full. Um, what else do we want to do? Hit rating, evade, defense, attack. Want to just go straight up here? Um, let's go up here so that maybe if we get this, maybe if we use this instead. We are using this skill, so yeah, let's go up this way. Unlock you, and you, and you. We're getting evade and attack, and equipped passes. They're all down here. Unlock, unlock, 19 hit. Oh, we're done. Okay. All right, Um. now. When your chambers land on a matching set, you are energized, restoring 3% of your max health. That's fine. Controlled shooting rolls. Okay. Re reload your shotgun. You salvage a portion of your power. Fine. Your flourish ability. You focus your aim to deadly effect. Is that this? No. Are we using flourish? No. So let's bring. Keep firing. When you activate opening shot. You gain a beneficial effect that causes your shotgun attacks to deal 20 additional physical damage till an enemy deals damage to you. Also, when you critically hit with a shotgun ability while opening shot is active, you reload one shell. And opening shot does consumes two energy. Fire shot into the air to signal it's time to open fire. For the next eight seconds, you and your group members' critical power is increased by 30. Yeah. So let's get rid of this and let's put this one here. What's this? Reinforced rockets? That does this. Should I do that? What is this? When using kneecapper, your sturdy footing allows you to improve the duration of the effect to 10 seconds. <gasps> Ooh. So I don't need all this heal. Let's actually get rid of this and put this, this one in here. Okay. Yep. I want to do this. Okay. All right. Now let's talk to Ellis Hill. We'll do his first one. Runaway lights. Who the hell goes there? Identify yourself. Goddamn. <sighs> Thought you might be one of them. You better be more careful. Accidents can happen when you sneak up on a man. Put it there. We don't shake hands. Uh, I understand perfectly. <laughs> Man's got to guard his handshake. Gives away a lot of a person's soul. I'm not talking about that palm reading shit. Shake a man's hand, you get a sense of his worth. His past and present. See the wear on these? Metal working hands. For fixing things up. Why is the ground shaking? <laughs> real slow. No secrets. All in plain sight. 
More than you can say for this island. You got the back and the stomach for digging deep? All manner of shit comes out. But nothing I haven't seen the likes of in my line of work. You're thinking there's nothing dangerous about what I do. You'd be wrong. I can tell you all about what people try to hide behind a coat of white paint. <laughs> Generators been acting up, which is fine during the day, but at night, they get bolder when the lights are out, the sea beasts. And my aim gets worse. It makes it hard to tell friend from foe. I think it's in everybody's best interest if those runway lights stay on. Okay, so we gotta go fix the generator. Uh, examine the blueprints on the wall. This tilt, I mean, okay. Check the wiring. <laughs> I don't know what I was looking at. <laughs> Check the wiring in passage one. All right, we gotta go down here. I see there's monsters down here. Um, I do remember dying on this quest a couple times. I don't know if there's a right or wrong way to do it. Can I get through there? No. We gotta go the next one over. Why is there a fire truck? <laughs> just, like who crashed? Was the fire truck here and it just crashed down here? It might have been. All right, this is the one that if you go in the water, you get electrocuted. So we're gonna go here. And we're gonna try to. Oh, please don't. Okay. Ooh, that took a lot of health. Whew. All right, so let's do this. Damage wiring. Okay, now we can run across here. Do I have to go over there for any reason? No. All right, check the wiring in passage two. All right, so, oh, we might have to go in down here. I really hope that that SP wasn't full for like three or four episodes. <laughs> it might have been, to be honest. All right, does anything happen if we go in the water here? No. But I will kill you guys. Okay, and now check this wiring. Check the wiring in passage three. Let me zoom out just a little bit further. There we go. Quit your whispering. That is really creepy. When do they do that? All right, let's go back to passage three. Can I get in this one? Yes. Now, this is the one that I'm not entirely sure. Am I supposed to jump on the barrels and get across or... I, f I die every time. I do. Oh, God. Get me out. Get me out. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> that was rough. But getting back out, I don't know how we're going to do it. I have no idea how you're supposed to do this one. And I've never actually looked it up because... Is that something that we could turn? And get the... Because the same thing's gonna happen when we go back. Can I use this? No. I don't know how we're gonna get out of here. I bet you are supposed to like jump on the barrel. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Get up there, get up the stairs, okay. God. Oh, in the middle, it doesn't do anything? So we jumped in the middle and it did not... I see. There's like stuff that's not green. If you probably go over here, go in the middle and then jump on that. I see. All right, check the wiring in passage four. How do you get down there? Down here? Probably this way. We're gonna, we're gonna go kill that big guy, by the way. All right, hey bud. Take 
taken down here. And, um, is there anything in this water? No. You guys all taken down. Alright, and fix this wiring, and then we should be good to continue on. Go to the generator room. How do we get there? <laughs> do we have to go out there? I don't think so. We might actually. How do I get to the generator room? We have to get down here somehow. I bet we go out and through there. Okay, let's try that. Right, I need to... Although it's gonna get us off our bike, but we'll still be sprinting if we do this. All right, let's go out here. We have to be careful because I think out here used to be a lair. Is that still true? Yeah. <laughs> so over here are significantly difficult creatures over that way. But I think if we go over here. Am I not doing this right? I think there's actually an area to get in there. I'm nervous because the, the creatures out here are seriously strong. Right, if we go through here, is this going to do it for us? Maybe? <laughs> Hopefully. I think so. I think this will be it. Yeah. Could we have just run through here? I don't think that's open. If it's open, I'm going to... Yeah, I think it's a wall. Good. Okay, I just had to make sure. All right, let's get up here and uh, see what we need to do. I think we gotta. We're gonna have to kill this thing. Destroy the circuit breaker. Do that. Nope. Stop, it. Stop doing all this stuff. There we go. All right, so we can send this off. Nothing wrong with shining a light upon affairs at the airport, even if they remain a touch murky. If anyone is flying in and out of Kingsmith or has done so recently, we certainly want to know about it. There are many groups in the world whose interests would be piqued by Kingsmith's occult brand of chaos, and not all will have the luxury of Agartha. Given the darkness has dominion over the sea, air travel would seem the most likely source of transport. Okay, so let's open this. We've got a weapon that we're gonna... Hey, can I just kill you? I want to pick up this side mission here. Okay. A beaten body. Something about Ellis Hill. A dead maintenance worker near the generator room at the airport clutches an interesting piece of information about Ellis Hill. Information that questions the real identity of the man. The situation could warrant some investigation. Search for clues near Ellis Hill. Okay, we gotta get... Is there any other way to get back up there? Like on this side? There's nothing down there. No, we're gonna have to go all the way around again. Just fine. Alright. I'm not gonna kill you again. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. And investigate Ellis Hill just a little bit. And see why it said we should look into him. Let's make sure we get into the right thing as well. Because again, I don't want to run out into that lair. Like those things are much, much higher level. Let me just... Oh, see? <laughs> Even the ground shakes. Yeah, level 50. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Okay, yes, I know we're in the lair. I don't I don't need you to pop up and scare me every single time. Alright. This guy, we'll get back in here. Here's this guy. Okay. Kill 
these guys. And now we gotta go invest- search for clues near Ellis Hill. So, something said- something on that body basically said that Ellis is not who he says he is. Let's look around here. There's a shovel. Use the dirty shovel. Okay. Um, but while we're here, we're gonna follow these dirt tracks in just a second, because I'm gonna pick up this investigation mission, Dead Air, which I should have brought up the, <laughs> the guide, because we will come need on, it for this Come one. on, you piece of junk. We got business to be getting on with, you and I. Calm down, no, you don't came hit in us. Quiet. Shit. My senses are getting dulled in here. Got used to the creeps outside. They don't have a light touch. <laughs> and neither do I. Cracking deadheads keeps my swing in shape and the cabin fever at bay. Man gotta be comfortable with scan company. With keeping to himself. Say, you come from town. Any reception out there? Police, CB? Say, even the LPFM gospel channel, I ain't choosy. <laughs> Nah, just dead air. Not even the score from the Red Sox game. This place is off the radar. So here I am, sitting with my thumb up my ass, tuning static. Like I said, dead air. <laughs> uh, Don't waste uh your time out at the mast. Ain't the kind of equipment you can patch up with duct tape and a wire hanger. No, nah, you just keep on with whatever you gotta do. Elsewhere. Please don't hit us with the bat. <laughs> so he's kind of creepy. So we he's got the shovel and these dirt tracks. So um, let's do dead air first, and then we will go do something else. So I do want to follow the dirt tracks. Aren't we supposed to get something here? Yeah. And now we look at the GPS. This is for investigating Ellis. So we can see that Ellis, he starts here. And he came out over here. So that was his last GPS. So that's for the other quest. For right now, let's do the dead air investigation quest. Um, I am going to need the guide. Maybe we might need the guide. But we might. I might remember where everything is. So we'll see. So locate the radio mast. It must be that thing. Let's get up here. Climb this ladder. Yipe. The camera angles. And let's get up here. Oh, come on. Platforming. <laughs> and up here. Okay, examine the radio mast. Examine the serial number. Serial Manticore, Arachi Groups 3881999. Source the components to repair the mast. Uh, let, let's try it. www.arachigroup.com <laughs> Arachigroup.com Um, Manticore Products Let's look at this real quick. I hope that stays up. No, I wanted to wanted to look at the serial number again. Three eight eight one nine nine nine. Three eight eight one nine oh come on. Group com companies Manticore three eight eight products. Three eight eight one nine nine nine. Series mass. The cyclone series is specifically designed for remote area installation and maintenance. No cranes are needed. Sections are lightweight. And provisional repairs can be carried out without recourse to specialized parts and labor. Primary components: brackets, anchors, antennas, lightning arresters, provisional repair items, household adhesives, conductors, and amplifiers. Household adhesives conductors and amplifiers which we're gonna run over here and we're gonna need to remember those 
household adhesives, conductors, and amplifiers. Because we're going to come over here and there's like spare, there's going to be spare parts everywhere. So battery, here's duct tape. Um, conductors, I don't know if this is going to be a conductor. And an amplifier. I guess, wire hanger maybe? Um, but let's go in here and see if we can find out what an amplifier might be. Tape recorder. I'm just gonna pick up all the parts that we might need. <laughs> Fuel can. We won't need those things. Vacuum tube. Conductors and amplifiers. I feel like the radio and the hang or the hang wire might might be all that we need. So let's go back over there. You have them all in your inventory, right? Yeah. Let's go back over there and see if we can't repair the mast. Before, when I did this, I used to just collect everything <laughs> and, and hope, you know, I didn't, I don't know what you actually need to do it because I would just pick up everything that you might need. But if we've got the duct tape, which would be the adhesives, the conductor, I'm thinking, Okay, we got that. Listen for transmissions. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know Morse code, but you would to literally to figure this one out, you would need Morse code and it, it's going to give you coordinates. So if you were to I don't know. <laughs> Play that into a Morse code, basically, um, uh, what am I thinking? The translator, or try to figure it on our own. I think it leads us to this little pond area. So we're going to run down there, and then we can just hitch a ride over here and get that. So it gives you coordinates, and the coordinates lead you, they do lead you down to that pond area. <laughs> but that, that one was really fun the first time around. Because you got to the Morse code part and you're like, are you serious? But then I remember a lot of us were trying to figure it out and be like, okay, let me try to learn Morse code real quick <laughs> and see, because it can't be that hard, right? Um, and see what we can do. And it, I wound up going to some website that if you played it, it would translate it. And it actually did give me the coordinates. Night shift supervisor. Local bounty detected. Initiating. Um, I, I might have made a mistake, but we're gonna come in here. I want to try to get that night shift supervisor. And then we'll continue on. Looks like he's in the building. Can I get in back here? No. Uh, let's try to get in from the front. Night shift supervisor. No! Leave me alone. I'm trying to get this rare spawn. Oh my god, all of you. Okay. How do I get in here? I can't see shit. Like, I can't- It's so dark, I can't see anything over here. Ah, okay. here. Night shift supervisor. Aha, another loot bag. And we finished this. Oh, and we got, what level are we? 19. Okay. Let's open this real quick as well. We've only got six left. I might spend money on these. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. That is something that I would definitely spend my money on. Okay. All right, let's get this night shift supervisor. Oh, it's this layout? I hate this layout. It, when we get on uh, in level and we get a little bit higher in level, you'll understand why I hate these warehouse. There's, I, well, I wonder if they're even in the game right now. Some auxiliary weapon that you have to get. You have to come into a warehouse like this. 
I did not even know this area was here. Is this... Like, I, I don't think I've ever been in here. How do I get to him? We gotta climb? I think we might have to climb. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot. I can't believe there's something out there for me to shoot. Okay. There you are. Let me get this guy. Alright, we got him. So, let's go and continue the main story. Or the uh, investigation quest that we picked up. And we will go and we'll... Hopefully I remember the place and those coordinates didn't change. Um, but I do believe they are... In that little pond area. So we're gonna head over there. We got that... Rare spawn guy. Now. I was able to jump over the fence to get in here. Am I able to jump the fence? If not... I can go... Oh, <laughs> we went straight through the fence. Okay. Let's go to that area on the map. I think it's in the pond down here. So we're gonna go to the pond to rev up a little bit. Head down there. I think it's right in here. Hopefully they didn't move it or change it. Yeah, we wanna come down here. So the Morse code things led us down here where there are some purple clad mercenaries guarding this giant box and so us being us and Ellie being Ellie being curious and being a good soldier for the Templars she's gonna touch the box <laughs> okay now we have to kill the quarantine beast oh. 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 is this something gonna explode on me? okay so we killed that beast let's find out Oh, what the mission. Let's send it in and tell Sonic that, uh, Richard Sonic, that we completed it. So, fascinating. You can set your watch by occult mercenaries arriving after an un unforward event. And yet, I'm alarmed you found them freighting cargo in. The usual order of business is to frantically ship out every object of power that is not warded down. Begs the question, what do they stand to gain from making the situation on Solomon Island worse? You truly have tuned to a signal to a foreshadowing of a much greater concern. I would advise stealing yourself to anticipate it. Once one starts tugging at a loose thread, all manner of unpleasant surprises come. So we got a vanity item out of that. And we got a couple of these. So let's put these down here and we're gonna do all of our uh, distill it using and empowering and everything at the end of the episode. So we got to do that other side quest and it's gonna lead us down over here. And then I think we will be good to continue up here because everything is either grayed out or off the map. And I did figure that out last episode that if we do a quest and it's not on cooldown, it's going to stay off your map, which I actually really, really appreciate that and like it because that's really easy to just glance at the map and say, oh, look at all the gray ones that we can go and redo again if we're trying to grind out some levels or something or some SP and AP or whatever. What's this? Dunwich. Dunwich. Dunwich Road Horror? Is this it? This is the rare? Alright, well, we're gonna take him down. Got him. I got another loot bag. Let's get out of here, and then we'll come down here and find out what Ellis was hiding. So, again, this is the one where we found that beaten body in the, um, visual tracking oh, visual tracking in the generator room, and it made us Local suspicious of, of Ellis. Initiating. Local bounty. Okay, and we see these mud trails down here, and now we've got something to kill these ladders, so we're going to do those as well. Okay. One. Follow these. He drive his car all the way down here? Are you serious? No. 
Do you count? Someone I can kill? What is that? Uh, what's this? Dead airport mechanic. Hi, can I use this, please? There we go. So, we found the real Ellis Hill, basically. Ellis Hill's employee ID card doesn't look anything like him, and he's out here. So let's turn it in. Ellis Hill was a widowed aviation mechanic. He played baseball in college. That appears to have been the highlight of his life. We know for less... We know, we know far less about the man pretending to be Ellis Hill. We know he is a murderer who likes to get his hands dirty. He has demonstrated only cursory knowledge of aviation, though his adept at sending encrypted signals out to sea. Were I a betting man, I would say it smells Phoenician. They are rudderless racketeers and likely here to smuggle more than just lobster off the island. <laughs> Alright, so we got those done. What is this? Faded blood. Okay, we gotta kill some more of these. Let's finish this area quest. And then we can actually head up to the other Arachi area. And we could actually probably fast travel. Oh, I don't need you. I don't know why I'm killing you. We can fast travel up there. Oh, we finished a challenge. That's why we were killing you. Okay. Taylor. Six. Um, are there gonna be two more up here? I don't. I don't know. Pods out of here. Oh, those counted. <laughs> we should have done that from the start. All right, we did that. Collect another bag and some more items. All right, for now, let's go back up here. We'll do yep. Fast travel up there. And we'll start doing some of the quests up and around here. Um, first things I first, I'm gonna go actually down here to get this side mission. And just see what it is so we can pick it up. Oh, I just got hit with the <laughs> rotor by that. Ellie's demise. Well I have to start a new character because she got decapitated by a helicopter. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, broken RC plane. I wonder who this belongs to. An RC plane, D. Dufresne. Uh huh. Oh, grab the plane. No, I know. I'm trying to grab the plane. There we go. Take the RC plane to the skate park. We will in just a second. Even though skate park's down there. Uh, I want to pick up another main quest from here. Because we, we probably have a few of them. Quite a few of them. Yep, one, two, three, and then the dungeon. Wanna the go dungeon. Round of confirm or deny while the centrifuge spins up? Do I have a choice? Confirm or deny. <laughs> you are an overachiever since your parents named you after a more famous Harrison. <laughs> Strongly deny. Confirm or deny. You ordered one of those I'm a Valley Girl sweatshirts from the company store. One in pink and one in oatmeal. I mean, confirm. <laughs> confirm or deny. You play a mean tenor sax. You'd only know that if you read my profiling, Radcliffe. Are you asking me to confirm or deny if I specifically requested <laughs> to be assigned to you? Never crossed my mind, and Important call. Have to make it. All right. So let's talk to him first, and then we'll do all of hers all at once. So evolution of species. Hi. Hey. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> I know you. I mean, not you, you. The collective you, whatever the collective is for superhero. I'm starting to think they're doing this on purpose. Lost satellite signal again. Word is we're not going to see any. Another one of our friendly neighborhood Spider Men? <laughs> Welcome to the party. Dig in. There's enough cake for everyone. It's not sarcasm. He isn't capable of sarcasm. Well, she's right. I'm Blake. This is my associate, Ms. Radcliffe. We represent. Uh, an independent think tank, working with the CDC, Our shotguns troubleshooting out. agency, for particular kinds of trouble. <laughs> like Mount Vernon, Iowa last summer. You didn't hear about what happened there. That's my point. Mm. We're a long-term goal-oriented organization. Our role here is to maintain a scientific overview of the situation, not to intervene. And that's what we've been doing, not intervening. Maintaining a scientific overview of the situation. Despite continuing setbacks, that someone with a 
A high-risk skill set might be better aligned to deal with. He means you. And I'm... I'm sure I didn't need to say that bit. Those things... Those monsters... They're tearing up our perimeter. I mean actually tearing it up and carrying it off. This has the potential to be bad on so many levels. On multiple levels. A flight of superheroes? A fray? We're done here. <laughs> Alright, so we'll help them out a little bit. Um, I actually really like these two, even though they're in the Arachi group. I really like them. So, go get to the defense perimeter. We'll do this one, and it might last a little bit long, but we'll do this, and then we'll go ahead and end the episode. We'll hang on to that side quest for the next next time. Defend the perimeter. No problem. Put that... Okay. What's next? <laughs> okay, you... Another one? Come, oh, they're almost enough by me there. Is there another one? Oh, right here. I was like, there's only two. Okay, so there were three. Okay. Fine bits of barricade stolen by the stolen by the drug. Will do. Bits of the barricade. This looks like bits of the barricade right here. Destroy it. Not again. Okay, we destroyed two of them in one go somehow. Three. Four. And here's another one. Are you guys. Why are so many people after me right now? Hello, loot box. All right, now collect an empty gas can, collect a hose, and collect a funnel. Why? <laughs> are we about to... Here's a hose. Let's take care of these guys. All right, we need a gas can and a funnel, so we'll go up here, see what's up here first. No more hop on the or get the funnel. Why are there gas cans up here? Someone is doing like a bonfire or something? Get out of here. Try I was gonna let you live, buddy. Alright, now the funnel. The funnel makes oh the funnel's gonna make sense because it's up there by that. Whatever that thing is up there. I don't know why sometimes you have to do it twice to get on the motorcycle, but... You do. <laughs> you still do. I thought I had figured it out, but I think it's just a little glitch. Alright. A funnel that's on top of the pumpkin. Siphon gas from the abandoned car. <laughs> Burn a pod cluster. Okay. Okay. So I guess we can choose anyone. Could I burn this one maybe? Here it is. Burn the plot pod cluster. It's probably gonna something's gonna come out of it, right? There we go. Holy war monger. <laughs> it froze for a second there. I couldn't do anything. All right. The capacity of the drug to appropriate human technology and technique is alarming. Their defense system is crude, but one shudders at the implications of the drug taking inspiration from Arachi. Soon they shall be camouflaging their objectives behind a network of puppet subsidiaries. On a positive note, it is revel revelatory to see what the drug have barricaded. 
These giant pod clusters represent a significant advance in drug ambition and confidence. Until now, their shoreline activities were limited to breeding minor varieties of the species. We should now be remembering that time as the good old days. All right, let's open this. And we are at the end of the episode, so let me just get up here to safety. So that I know next time we're going to pick up the next main quest up here. Um, and then we'll play around with doing some of the upgrading our items. And I'll, I'm will i going to make it a habit that we look at the, our SP and AP as well. So let's start with that. So we should be safe here. So let's start with this. We're making our way up here. Oh, we need 15, so we can't do anything. Um, and on this, we can unlock this. What is it? Salvage some of your power from your shotguns. Eh. Okay. Clean up. Isolate the purified purifying elements of your shotgun shells and disperse it to all your group members. For the next nine seconds, each group member is cleansed of one detrimental effect every 1.5 seconds. This ability does not trigger and is not affected by... I mean, that's good. It's kind of like a, a cleanse. Okay. Now let's do this stuff. So, this is level 20. If we get another weapon to level 20, does it have to be the same kind of weapon? Let's look. So it won't hurt to get this thing to level 20. Um, can I? No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. Don't delete that. 11. Um. Let's do. 19. 20. So that's level 20. So what if I did this and this? Ah, okay. Has to be the same kind of weapon. So we've got a level, another level... 20 green weapon or green pistol we could oh if we get another one we could um fuse it into blue so that we could do this okay i mean that's fine i don't want to do any more belts well so if we ha we don't even have another belt we could do Let's do this. This is level three. It has three dots. It's protection, physical... Oh, attack rating, though. Alright, let's get this to level 20. Stop. Stop everything. Let's get this to level 20. 9, 17, 20. Now we would need another... Could I do this? I actually want this one more than I want this. So let's try doing some of this here. This and this. Assemble. So we'll try and get something else to level 20. So I want to hold on to this. Um... Go ahead and do that. Is this still level one? Yeah. These are neck pieces. Well, that's a neck piece. These are head pieces, so we could get a head piece to level 20. Almost. Okay, there we go. So that's level 20. Um, this is place of blue in place of a purple. Okay. And then let's open this. Oh, we got four things out of it. Got another potion. Okay. So, I want to watch up these and see if this, which one this changes. None of them. <laughs> I thought I saw it change last time. Uh, okay, cool. Alright, awesome. So I am gonna, between this next episode and, or this episode and the next one, I do want to also look at, where's my, 
Oh, here, my wallet. I want to look at what we can spend these fragments on and what we can spend the Mark of Favor on um, just to see if there's something we could be buying. Now, we are almost level 20 as well, so uh, we're doing pretty good. We are doing pretty good. So, guys, I do want to thank you again for your continued support on this series. If you do want to see more of our Secret World Legends Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye, everyone.